Okay, you traitor nerds. 22 years ago, where were you? Mm-mm-mm. We were all kind of reminiscing of where we were and what we were doing. And uh, I was getting ready for work and uh, just... Uh... What, Beth? Beth? Beth was already at work. I was a late, late bloomer. I got I got there late in a lot of times. So, uh, but anyway, just an emotional day, like you say, as we're all thinking about it. It does get you emotional. And um, I was not trading back then, uh, you know, other than having my money in the S&P 500. And I really didn't even look at it then because I go, oh, it's so far away, you know, don't worry about it. But uh, it's hard to think even about money at that time when you know, we were just, you know, I was looking up in the sky, tears in my eyes on the way to Birmingham. And I was thinking, God, I was just looking overhead. Like, are they crashing else everywhere? I mean, are planes coming down everywhere? I mean, it's just a weird day. Anyway, we will never forget. And uh, fortunately, um, anyway, I don't know what I was going to say. Hey, the market's up 0.35% today. How about that? I like that. Look at this, y'all. Boy, you could be trading around the VWAP today. Look at this. When it gets a little past the VWAP, short it. Time to short it. Time to short it. Uh, AD is up. AD is uh, 117. It's been as low as 39. As high as 389. And three consecutive positive movements into AD. So it's going up. And we'll see if it will go across VWAP. VIX is almost at 14. Volume is light today. 2,700 contracts every two minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's see our Big Green Monster. Hey, Mr. Big Green Monster. Wow, we're toward the lower end of the fair value zone. Look at this. So this should be a little area of support there. We would anticipate filling these gaps. So this kind of looks bullish to me that we'll probably try at some point in the next 10 days to fill these gaps and hit the 4564. Let's look at linear regression. Linear regression looks like... Uh, you know, we'll see if the 50 daily moving average will serve as uh, support, and uh, maybe it will. Yeah, everybody's posting where they were on that day. It's amazing. Yeah, just thinking about where you were. It's amazing how you remember those things. So our little portfolio has a 97% probability of success. So you're telling me there's a chance. There is a chance. There is a chance, Lloyd. There is a chance. So our count is at $41,058. Oh, be still. $41,058. I think we're going to have to look at this, y'all. $41,058. Fire up the band, Rico. Well, we're moving on. We've only made $3,377.41 on the year. I'll take that any year. And let's look at our little uh, Greeks and ratios here. Our Greeks and ratios were 99.70. 99.70. Let's put that in. I like my deltas going down a little bit. I like my thetas going up a little bit. And we said that VIX is at 13. I don't round. I just call it 13. And our buying power is, wrong account, 16,597. 16,597. Oh, that went down a little bit. I like that. 597. So we're at 40% buying power. I don't know, y'all. This everything looks really, really good. I kind of like to get this up to point 20, y'all. So I think we put on a trade. You want to? So let's go over here and let's go to the micros. And we'll go to that 80 day where we've been putting. Can y'all hear my cat? And then we call this the nine delta plan. We're going to sell at the nine delta. Can I get twenty dollars for it? It's the case thing. Let's, I'm not sure I can, but let's see if we can get twenty. If we can't get twenty. I'm going to go out farther in time. I hate when it does those black spots. All right, so let's do a quantity of two. Let's see if we can get filled at twenty. We, hey, boom, man! There you go. So those are eighty days. So it means we need our protection. At least 40 days. We don't have 40 days. We've got 39 days. So we're going to go put our protection out at 50 days. And under the nine delta plan, it's kind of simple. We're going to buy the nine delta. God, I hate that black stuff there. What is that? Oh, but uh, it's also my son JoJo's. Um, it's his birthday. So JoJo is nine today. So we try to think of something really good about this day. It's JoJo's birthday. So 4180. 
So what the 38, 39, 40 for the one, 38, 80. We'll sell the 38, 80. And that's at 950. Let's move it up to 975. See if we get filled there. No, oh, come on. Don't make me go up to 10. Beth, you need to lay off them camels, girl. There we go. We are in, baby. In, in, in. Nice little weekend decay. Our account's doing really good. So let's move that down. Let's see our other account here. So let's go to the, let's close this one. And let's go to the other account. Let's see how we're doing over here. Today is the 11th. 9, 11, 23. This is our bell weather account. This is one that really does good. 13.57, because I've kept dealt, I've kept enough data in this the whole nine yards the whole year. So we'll go over here and see how this one's doing. This is at 29,935. 29,935. 29,935. Fire up the band, Rico. Yes, hallelujah. So we're at 6130. 6130. Now, what does that mean, y'all? I'm gonna slow down a little bit for our new people out there. That means that my deltas are 61. That means my portfolio, I have the equivalent of 61 shares of spy. So if I owned spy outright, I, it's the equivalent of me owning 61 shares of spy. And the options that I've sold are decaying by $30 a day. So I should make $30 a day from the decay in the options. The VIX is at 13 and my buying power, that's the collateral that I have to put up to do this. Yeah, it is good here. Rico and the band got it together again. They, I don't know what was wrong yet, uh, last week. They were a little weak. So we're at 8,900 on our buying power. I don't know what's up with Rico. They, you know, every now and then the band, they sputter a little bit. So, y'all, we're only at 29%. So, what we do is we come over here to our trades. And let me get rid of all these that are already closed. So, we want to do all of them and then take them all off and only show the blanks. So, that means it only shows me my open positions. And we've got some that it says, hey, Bob, it's time for you to close. So, we put this one on at 92 days. So when it gets to be, what, 46 days or less, it says it's time to close it because we've done, you know, we've let this one have enough time to stew, so to speak. So these are 4,100s with 39 days left to go. Okay, so let's close two of those. 4,100s with 39 days left to go. So let's go find them. Let's show our groups. So naked puts 4,100s with 39 days left to go. That'll be these, I guess. Um Let's close two of them. Create a closing order at, we're going to try 750. We probably won't get closed. We're going to try it. Nothing, nothing. Bueller, Bueller. Matt, that was a horrible, um, horrible um, Alabama performance over the weekend with Texas. Just didn't look. And I sit there and I thought, here was my thought. I didn't watch but about, what, Beth, five minutes of the game, and I couldn't take it anymore. I said, oh, my God, this is horrible. And uh, the thing is, I, I think, though, from from basically everything that I heard and throwing interceptions and all, if we don't fix some stuff, it's going to be a long season. I'm just telling you. Wow. Well, our offensive line could not give Jalen Milrow any time to throw. So, they bragged about how big their – Alabama's offensive line is, and yeah, they're big, but they were just getting bullied the whole yeah. game. Every one of them was at like 350 or more. I mean, you know, they're big old boys, and uh, you got to you got to be more than big, though. I mean, you got to be able to move too. You know, which was kind of sad that they couldn't. But uh, now I don't think Texas is a slouch either. They could be playing in the national champion if they play like that every game. They'll I play just, in the national championship. I just need to ask somebody to beat Georgia. I don't want Georgia to do three P. I don't let me tell you, I live around those fans. Those are the most obnoxious fans. And then when Georgia is average, you never hear from them. I mean, they don't even come out at night. So um they'll shoot you a bird if you got an Alabama tag, Beth said. Did one shoot you a bird, Beth? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
They shot you a bird, Beth? Sitting in front of Walgreens, they shot Beth a bird because she had an Alabama tag. Isn't that amazing? That's the old Georgia fan there. So uh, I'm sure it's not all of them. I'm sure there's some of them. Oh, Tim, hook them, hook them. Tim, come on, Tim. Well, I mean, that's the first time Texas has beat us in a long time, though. Dare I take you back to a national championship game? Dare I – don't tell me about Colt McCoy going out or whoever it was, whoever the quarterback was. <sighs> okay, so we made our money there. Now, here's the interesting part, y'all. What's this? Big Daddy just made $151.62. So, I'm going to show y'all what we y'all missed in the Muscadine Mafia section, session the other day. So we made $151.62. Everybody with me? Okay. Now, we also put on a put debit spread that has four days to go, and that costs $47.94. So it cost me $47.94 minus $47.94. Okay. So that's $103.68. Okay. Let me go get my old trading plan. All right, where did we find out that the great place is to place a hedge if you want a hedge? We said that um, optional hedging, you could do uh, out of the money puts at 14 days to expiration, right? And I think I've got it down here too. Let's see. You can um, buy cheap puts 14 days to expiration for 30 cents. So I wanted to show y'all that, what it looks like, okay? So let's go in. So I've got $103. You cannot take my profit away from me. Now, what if we used $15 of that to put in a hedge? I want to show you what that looked like. So let's go to trade. Let's go to ES. And see what kind of protection we would get. So let's say you go to 14 days. And you go to the one that you can buy for 30 cents. So 30, 30, 30, 35. You might could get one of these for 30. Let's see if we can. See if we can get it at the mid price. So if we can get this at the mid price, 36.75. Here, 30, 35. And we wouldn't be able to get that one, would we? 30, 35. No, you might be able to get this one for 30. Let's try this. So remember this, 35 cents. We're going to try to get it at 30. That would cost us 16.82. Y'all remember that? Boom, 1682. Okay. So now I am guaranteed, y'all, to make 8686. And the interesting thing is, I have now given myself some protection. Let's see what our protection looks like. So let's hide simulations and just show the positions. And here's our position. So now we, by costing $16, I have given myself a hedge that gives me $6,000 worth of protection. Everybody see that? So what we have done, Glenn, Glenn, what do you do? Glenn, I'd rather you shoot me a bird than put those nasty horn fingers up. can't believe you're doing this to me. Um, so I've given myself $6,000 worth of protection. Now, I've got more than that if we bring in volatility. Look at this. If the volatility pops up to 33%, I got a $9,000 hedge for $16. So what I just did is I converted, I converted the naked put of a one, two, one into a hedge. How about that? That's what we talked about in the Muscadine Mafia section. Now, do you have to do that? No. When should you do that? When VIX is low? Because that's when you have a higher probability of an outlier move. So that's when you do it, right? That's when you do it. So do you have to do it? No. But if you want a quick little $6,000 hedge, put it on. Now, that hedge will get weaker as the days go by. Kind of like it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets... uh a little bit weaker as the days go by, but if it's crash happened today, yeah. And then if you keep doing that, I mean, that's kind of good, right? Because look, I got all these other ones that I got closed too. Look at this. I can close this one tomorrow. I can close this one on Wednesday and I can keep putting these hedges on. So every time I close one, I can put a hedge on, which is a really, really neat little thing to do. Anyone got any questions about the conversion? 
Okay. All right. So now we got to put on a trade over here because we closed the trade and we said that our stats are a little low. So let's go over here. Let's go to MES. And let's go to that 80 days. Remember, this is a nine delta plan we're trading. I got a new name for it, nine delta. So here's 931. So let's sell. And it's okay to sell where you've already sold. I wouldn't buy where I already bought. So since I'm short there, let's move that up. Let's move that up to 20 and do two of them at boom, chaka locka, chaka locka, boom. Come on, baby, fail me. I am in. Now we want to hedge for at least 40 days, not 39 days. So we got to go 50 days. And the nine delta plan says go to the nine delta. Or if you want to call yours the 10 delta plan, you want to use 10 deltas. That's fine too. So here's the 4190. Let's Let's do the 4180, though, like we did in the other one. 4180. We'll go down to the 3880. Beth, go make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Two of them, please, on wheat bread. Let's see if we can get filled for $10. 4180, 38. What'd you say? <laughs> Come on, baby, fill me. Oh, man, it's going to make me go up to 10 and a quarter. We're going to go up to 10 and a quarter. That should be. Ta da! Yeah, Thomas, I think it's, it's it's your prerogative, right? What does your trading plan say? But, you know, my thing is don't get greedy here, Bob. VIX is low. We have, and Tasty has shown that the probability of an outlier move happens much more significantly when. Uh, VIX is low. So let's say when VIX is under 18 or VIX is under 20, probably a good idea to put you on some hedges like that. So the good thing is by doing it this way, uh, you know, you've I've survived and not had to have a hedge, but now that I'm closing some of these and every day it looks like something's coming off, just buy your little hedge. And then you get three or four of those and you got $30,000 worth of protection down to the downside. Okay. Is it perfect? No. Uh, yeah, under 20, I'd go for it. If, if you know, and, and still keep your theta up, you know, keep your theta up, you know, at least 0.1, uh, you know, keep your Gregson ratios like, wherever you want it. I'm trying to get mine to 0.2. Well, it's hard to do that if I'm buying options as well, right? But, uh, you know, hey, I took one off, put one on, put a hedge on. I love, I love in my positions today. So good, 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 good. So we're talking a little bit about hedging today and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm going to go eat me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I will see y'all tomorrow.